Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I want to make an aromatherapy candle holder. So if you know something that has like a holder and you can to put a tea light underneath and then you have a, a plate or something above the tea light and you can, this is like a diffuser for aromatherapy oil. And I will make it out of this dust clay. So this is the first time I'm trying to work with this material and um, as you know usually I use my homemade coat porcelain clay and I bought this clay just for this project because I don't think that cold porcelain clay will hold the heat and this is basically air dry clay and I saw that people use it for candle holders so it should work I think and I also want to apologize that that I have this deep voice because I had a cold and I'm not totally recovered so yeah my voice is still gone so first I'm going to use the plan was that I will use this little bowl for the aromatherapy oil so to heat it up later with the candle underneath and I will use this glass for the shape of the aromatherapy candle holder and of course, like usually, I like, I really like everything fairy themed. So I cannot hold back myself to make this project also fairy themed. First, I'm going to use some chilling wrap, plastic wrap to wrap this glass so this clay will not stick on the glass. So now I'm rolling out my air dry clay into a rectangle shape. And I'm rolling out another piece in a round shape for the bottom of the candle burner. And I cut it out using my glass to get a perfect circle. And the circle is a little bit bigger than the bottom of, bottom of the glass. And that's how I want it because I want to fold down the edges so they can combine and now I'm cutting my rectangle so it has nice and clean edges using a ruler and a paper clip wire. What I'm doing right now is I'm wetting the edges of the circle and then I'm scoring like little lines into the clay and I will do the same on my rectangle so that's a technique that I use to go glue the different pieces together and I will continuously use this technique on everything that I will glue on to this clay later on I just learned it when I was a child and um, we do things using regular clay and that's, I, I was told to do that to um, glue on things together using the clay and I saw a lot of people on YouTube complaining that this clay easily falls off if we combine different parts after it dries and I think the reason is that because they don't score it like here I'm doing scoring to combine the edges of the clays so they just like sawn together and then, then I'm wetting it and smoothing it out so and I don't had any problems with um, stuffs falling off after it dries because I use this technique here I'm using a thread to cut off the edges so I have a clean and nice rim on my burner and now I'm using my paper clip wire to cut the windows into the clay and smoothen out the edges using some water but it doesn't have to be perfect because we can sand it later if there are some rough edges And now I'm scoring the shape of the door into the clay using my wire 
and using some clay tools to shape it more and here i'm using leftovers of cutting the clay and gluing them on with, this, with the same scoring technique and using water to make the door frame And now using my clay tool, I'm scoring some lines into the door frame and the door to make a woodish texture. And here I'm raking a tree down because I want a tree on the house and making the branches of the tree and I'm gluing them on with the same scoring and wetting technique. And now I'm just going to speed up the process and you can see I'm just making the branches and all the little details on the house. And then I let the fairy house or candle burner dry for 24 hours not even 24 hours because I let them dry in the sun and luckily it doesn't um, damage my clay my friend gravitation help me okay that's creepy I try to get off the clay from the glass and it was too tight and it was really hard to get it off and I just did it off camera uh, now I made this little knot knuckles or something to put on the bowl later so it's like a stove if that makes sense so the hot air can go out from the little spaces between the bowl and the burner. After the um, clay completely dried I sand off the edges to make it look cleaner and smoother. And here I'm using some homemade gesso that I made by myself to cover the whole burner, the whole clay. So I have just a wider and stronger base to paint on later. And now I'm starting the painting process. I'm using my acrylic paint as usual, but for this project I made it a little bit different. So I thinned up my acrylic paint with a lot of water so I didn't have that opaque acrylic effect but I had more a sheer and watercolor like effect and I really liked it so I got my dimension from the paint going into the texture and into the grooves and I didn't um, use multiple colors to make the shades and the highlights and that was kind of the goal that I want because I wanted like a lighter and more sheer effect than I usually do with my fairy houses. And after all the paint dried, I used my clear varnish to give the burner a nice um, clean and shiny coat. So it has that ceramic effect and it protects the paint from any water and just make it stronger. And I used like three coats of varnish to really get a shiny and ceramic effect. So now I'm all done with painting it and I already varnished it and let the varnish dry 
and this is the end result now i really want to try it out so here i have the things that i needed for it i have my tea candle that i will put inside here and i made this windows as whole so the candle still can breathe so we tr i will try to turn it on and put it inside Careful. okay can you see it it's inside there and i bought this bowl and i think it was really good because it has this dent so we can the liquid and the aromatherapy can be here and that it's closer to the candle so it can get more heat to evaporate hopefully so i'm gonna put it here that's why i made this little knock so it's like i don't know and then i put this on top of it and the candle can still breathe as you can see and then i'm going to use my aromatherapy oil which i have embarrassingly to admit this is years and years old and i couldn't use it because my aromatherapy burner before i broke it that's the reason why i want to make a new one for a long time but i didn't know what material to use and now I figure it out, I can use this dust air deck clay, hopefully. And I'm going to add some water, supposedly I think, like this. Oh, that smells so good. And I will leave it for a while to wait until the heat of the candle evaporate the water and the aromatherapy oil. And then I will tell you how it turn out but I'm really happy with this aromatherapy candle like I like the design it's not good to say it about your own stuff I know but you know I was trying to do something new as you can see all my fairy houses are always this bold and vibrant colors and always like dark themed as you can see the all my creations are always dark and I wanted something bright and sheer and that's why I made this one like just like with water it's still acrylic but I made it like watercolor effect so it's more bright and I let the break background still being white so it's getting better with this bowl together oh my god I can already smell it and it smells so good it really works so yeah just gonna say thank you so much for watching and maybe if you enjoyed this video you can try to do this to recreate it in your own style your own design or even you can this you, you can use this style but whatever your style is and whatever design you want to do you can just try it it's just to give you some inspiration some idea of possibilities that you can do and it smells so good i have to say guys okay thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do and see you in the next video. Bye!